Most people don't know what the auditor does. For years, I've been working to change that. The auditor serves as a check and balance on Denver's strong mayor system. The mayor holds the purse strings, but the auditor follows the money to see how it's used and how it could be used more efficiently and effectively. Auditors use a wide range of tools and techniques to assess city agencies, programs, and use of resources. That way, the public knows they can rely on our findings and recommendations. As I start my third term as your elected auditor, it's important to remind all of my constituents and incoming city leaders of what we can do to help Denver thrive. As city auditors, we assess programs effectiveness, economy, and efficiency, review governance and internal controls, determine compliance with city contracts and agreements, review accounting practices. We make recommendations for improvement. We do not review or process your taxes. The audit process can take anywhere from a few months to over a year. That's because we follow strict professional standards and the charter mandated generally accepted government auditing standards. Our audit process starts with risk assessment and audit selection for our annual audit plan. The audit plan is published on the third Monday in October every year and serves as a guideline for how I intend to direct my office's resources in the year ahead. Most years, we continue on with existing audit projects and add new ones based on newly assessed risks. The risk assessment process involves examining priority issues from members of the public, city leaders, agency management, audit committee members, and our own audit work. I frequently tell community members I meet, if you have a concern, please email it to my office. When we hear from more and more individuals on the same topic, we are more likely to dedicate audit resources in that area. After we assess the city's risk and choose a diverse portfolio of projects for the year, we follow a clear audit process. That process starts with planning, then moves into field work, report drafting, audited agency response, and finally audit committee presentations. The heart of the audit is the field work phase. This is where our team of professionals use their expertise and research skills to work with the audited agency in review of documentation, policies, procedures, and plans. As part of this process, we interview staff at all levels relevant to our scope of work. We research leading best practices and compare Denver's programs and processes to the work of other government entities across the country. And we examine relevant data. This could include conducting on-site observations, like when we visited homeless encampments to see how the city responds to the community's needs, or when we did walkthroughs of city parks to review maintenance. It also includes ensuring contract and grant compliance by looking at invoices and other documentation. Plus, we review the strategic plans and metrics agencies use to measure success to see if they are following through on voter intent and stated policy. We also conduct cybersecurity audits to help the city protect itself from criminals and bad actors. They only have to be right once. Our systems have to protect the city's sensitive and confidential data every minute of every day. Additionally, my audit analytics team uses millions of data points every day to run automated programs which help us continually check up on city spending and other analysis. Government accountability and transparency matters. We conduct this work so that you can rest assured that someone is watching out for how the city is using public resources and how your leaders are serving you. The Denver Auditor's Office Audit Services Division works to deliver value and impact for Denver by performing audits that follow the highest professional standards. Our mission is to deliver independent, transparent, and professional oversight, safeguarding and improving the public's investment in the city and county of Denver. Our work is performed on behalf of everyone who cares about the city, including its residents, workers, and decision makers. Well, that's it for this episode of Ask the Auditor. If you have a question, submit it to auditor at denvergov.org, and maybe your question will be the next question we answer on the next episode of Ask the Auditor.